Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to episode 5 of the Future Bass Hybrid Trap, Trap from Scratch series. So today's episode is all about the breakdown of the Future Bass part of the track and then the build up into the Hybrid Trap part of the track. I hope I said that around the right way. Let's just dive into it straight away. Got a few ideas for this uh, next part so I'm keen to actually get them down before I forget them. Like all episodes in this series, we're going to play it from the start so you guys kind of know what the track sounds like if you haven't been following the series. Link in the description for the playlist if you want to check out the rest of the series. So yeah, this is what we have so far for the Future Bass Hybrid Trap track. Woo! Alright, let's get into it. I swear there's just a sound that I keep hearing every single time, but I have no idea where it is. So I hope you've been digging the series slash this track so far. It's uh, time to change the mood, that's for sure. Happy, just happy on top of the world feels to fucking apocalyptic uh, mentalness. That's, that's what's happening in this next part. Uh, first things first, before we get going, I am going to resample these 20 risers because I feel like it's munching my CPU. So yeah, I'll just do that quickly and then we'll get on with the rest of the video. Seek! Delete that. All right, let's get on to this next part, which we shall call break down 1v1 me. So yeah, the first idea I had for this next part is just kind of like take elements from the intro. We can take that, see if it fits. Uh, <laughs> not like that, I didn't mean that. All right, let's just take all these kind of melodic elements from the intro. Oh, it does have a low pass on it, sick. I want to add that if it wasn't added already. Um, we'll start with a low pass. Uh, low pass in the wrong instrument is this one, uh, but it has a low pass on it anyway. Um, so like that, cheeky automation. I said I had ideas. Yes, I do have ideas. Um, let's go with violence. It will be under strings, won't it? Nice one, Sam. That's the one. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. Pizza, pizzicato, pizzicato. <laughs> I know legato. I don't know that. Just turn on the Ableton push, and I'm gonna. Okay, let's just let's just try something. Yeah. 
YOLO! Let's, let's, let's fucking roll with that. Gonna do this old e capture method. Oh my god, it captures everything. Um, but the first half was shit. So we'll go second half. Let's quantize that so my playing isn't dreadful. Uh, okay, fixed all them shitty notes. All right, here's what I'm going for. Command A or Control A if you're on Windows. Got you covered, fam. Uh, and then hold Option, or I think Alt if you're on Windows, and just gonna duplicate that. You're, hold you're holding the click down, <laughs> and now you're pressing Command. All right, that's what we're doing. For fuck's sake. And we're just gonna drag these notes uh, off to the side slightly. You can go even further. I don't- I swear I fixed that, what the fuck? Alright, where's the reverb at so this doesn't sound so dry then... <laughs> no, 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 not gonna say that. Okay, the reason why this is low pass is it's still got a sound attached to it. Is because we've got this uh, send and return chain over here, which sounds like this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click that automate it so we turn it off for this part That kind of sounds really empty just going from intense uh, craziness into nothing Okay, we don't want the fat pH kick All right, Where's the sounds at? We can probably ditch that. Where are all these sounds coming from? There it is. All right. Ditch that. Not a fan. I reckon we bring in like a Reesey bass here, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, we just low pass that and now it's time for the Reesey bass. So in order to do that... Oh, that's a mono sound. That sounds rubbish. Crank unison. Okay, we'll roll with 16. Uh, filter. No, we don't need B. We're not using OS B. I'm feeling uh, 18 dB per octave low pass filter today. All right, and uh, <laughs> octave down. Oh, there's a sweet spot. Yeah. What happens if we turn the sub on? No. Just a little bit, a little bit of bass. Uh, extended low end. All right, so let's let's see if this works. Moody. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's, let's use this recapture tool. Ba bam! I just know that's gonna backfire me one day. I'm gonna write this amazing melody. I'm not gonna hit record, and I'll be like, "Yo, that is the bomb diggity!" And then I'll go ahead and press this button, and it won't have recorded or captured that, and it's just, I'm just gonna be devastated. And so that day doesn't come. Do we, hop, do we hop straight into the reach? That is the question. It sounds a little bit empty coming from intense drop into uh, this bit. Let, let's hear it with. Okay, let's add some legato. Yeah, boy, well, said it right. Couldn't say the other one, but could say legato this time. Um, didn't even click legato. There we go. Okay, so here's my plan, right? I think it does sound better with that extra note added in right there. This one. And then... Right at the end, I think we're going to pitch it off. Can I always... Is that function on? Yeah, there we go. Is 
Is that gonna sound weird? It might do. A little bit of synth knowledge 101. So mono is short for monophonic. This means you can only play one note at a time. It doesn't glide between the notes. It just hops straight to the next one. If you, if you play like, what is this, a G and then an A sharp right next to it while still holding the G, it'll alternate between the two notes as you're pressing them on and off. Uh, legato comes in, that's where it glides to the next note. So you gotta have that enabled. So it kinda, it doesn't hop straight there, it just rises there. And then you check on the porter mode, the notes will always glide to the next one. Doesn't matter what MIDI you have, it will just constantly like glide to the next note, whatever you have it on. Maybe that could be used for the next bit. Let's check on metronome and try to record that. All right, let's quantize this and see if it works. I swear that should be the name of this episode. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Oh yeah, that second idea I had was like a utility. Okay, metronome, no, no, you can turn it off for a bit. Oh, I, 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 I just did the porter, didn't I? This is the this is like the time between the glide and the two notes. I was gonna fade this out like it's an eight oh eight. That porter don't work on that part. Can we automate the porter? Yes, we can. All right, let's bring that down. Up there, maybe. Can we add delay on that little uh, violin plug? Let's get some side chain in, and then I know what the next part's gonna be. Oh, just got another idea! This is gonna be sick. I need probably groups and channels to be fair, but... You know how it is out here. You just got too many ideas and you need to get them down into Ableton as fast as you can. Side chain onto this bass, so... Triggered by the kick. Oh, that could use a low pass. Have we got a low pass on this? There's gonna be a low pass. Ah, no we don't! Yep, add this low pass onto the kick. And then... Okay, my idea, my next idea, so it doesn't sound so empty when it goes to that part, is... Yeah, that one. When your Ableton session's lagging. Maybe percussion, that's what I need. And there we go, problem solved. All right, here's the, here's the bang. All right, let's low pass that. Can I sidechain this as well? Sidechaining drum loops, is that a thing? You sidechain everything, I sidechain my life. <laughs> when you drag in audio clips, Ableton's like, hmm, let me think about it for a second. That's when you know you've got an intense project. Oh, the hybrid trap drop is gonna take five years because whenever I drag in new shit to the session, it's gonna be like, hmm. Mental, that's gonna be a fun time. No, that just made it worse. All right, we're gonna add an RPG editor. Great, another thing to add to this already hectic session. All right, gonna create the classic flux art, which is just like a square wave. And then an RPG editor on top of it. Actually, to be fair, Porter does this art quite a bit as well. Um, so we're gonna take the MIDI from that one. 
Oh, that's gonna sound dreadful until we add some chords. Sixteenths. Just add an octave up. All right, let's test this. Oh, it's sounding trash. Can we low pass just everything? Because that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm low pass everything. I low pass. <laughs> oh my god. That chord progression is just not working. Let's, let's play in time with this. Okay, let's actually make a chord out of it. See. There we go, that works. And then we change the last note, or the note for that section, to that. Can we steal this? Uh, we're stealing it, it's happening, it's done. Let's add the pitchy 808 that we've got going on here and try and make like a, a melody out of it. Turn off mini mode, go to automation with Reverb that. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know how long it's been zoomed in for. I haven't been looking at my camera in fucking minutes. It could have just been two minutes of my zoomed in face. Oh, it's doing it again! Stop, camera, please! I'm gonna have to get some duct tape and duct tape that toggle. Is it doing it again? It's it's doing it again. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm gonna have to duct tape this shit. Sit rep. I couldn't find cell tape. I found masking tape though. Awesome. Back to normal. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Camera man, it's got a mind of its own. All right, where were we? Uh oh yeah, I was gonna add some reverb to this note because I was gonna create a melody out of an 808, which uh you know, getting pretty creative here. I got the melody, got the melody, need to write it down. Mm. What if we change that note with the the Reese bass? Uh, the up sounds good by itself and with the bass, but as soon as you introduce the rest of the track, it just, nah, something's off. Or I just might need to get used to it. Maybe I just need to turn the up down. Oh, that is moody. That is moody. Let's add some fucking strings as well. Contact time! Let's eat my CPU! Yeah! Serum's doing a great job of that already. Let's just, let's just add to it. <laughs> String ensemble. Ensemble. <laughs> Matting! Oh, beautiful. Let's just wing a string section right in here. Let's just wang it in. Let's just, let's just nut it in right here. That's so loud! No, we don't need to change notes. What's the next chord? I think it's this one. <laughs> I was doing so well. And then it all just went downhill. Shit hit the fan. 
god, the drop is just so loud compared to the rest of the track. We need a fat tail on that, there's some ping pong delay. It needs to like ring into like at least the next half of the section, like up until there. Let's duplicate that and then change it to analog. That is borderline organy, like Dracula kind of Halloween-ish styles. Am I actually getting sun? It's cloudy AF. Yeet! I'm really digging this next section. Is it time to take the uh, the low pass off the serum base? I think it is. We'll just build it up. That bit's still too loud. I'm gonna I'm gonna add like a little pitch envelope here. Oh no. <laughs> Tones. Then just a freaking heavy on uh, What about these two? We just want a solid kind of G note banger. Can we go lower than that? No. Yo, unintentional, but that sounds sick. Steal this MIDI and then copy and paste it onto. Where's our Reese? There's our Reese. When the notes are too low. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> track is so dynamic the quiet bits are really quiet and the loud bits are just like tearing your face off um and breaking some necks you know awesome rails whatever you're into oh we are red line headlining right now yeah intense crashes and of course we need them brass notes. Contact with that clutch work in this video. All right. Um, brass ensemble. I love this. If it's gonna play. Look. Okay. Set the velocity to. Oh! Can I go lower? Where's the sub? Okay, that's too low for the uh, ye old brass. And now I've changed the articulation. Nice. Oh well. Uh, that one and that one. Maybe a three octave ting. Uh, so that note, that note, and that note at once. Let's go back into contact and uh, let's crank everything up to 10.
I'm thinking that, oh uh, no, these velocity, that's what we need to do, change that to max. Oh, my ears, OTT! Can we get that any lower? Would a uh, little altar boy bring it an octave lower? Fingers crossed. That might be a cool, like, little, uh, wheel. Overdrive. Oh, no, 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 no. We've already got an OTT. Thank, thank you for offering multiband dynamics, but, you know, we've got OTT. We don't need your services at this stage. Um, we need overdrive. This is gonna sound mental! Okay, man, I, I kind of want those low notes coming in. So maybe mix. 50-50. Oh, it's going to have to happen. Another duplication of this contact. <laughs> One with a uh, mix up to 100% on the Alter Boy doing the crazy modulation, the wow bit. And then another with no Alter Boy... It takes five minutes to delete something. The session's hectic. No OTT and then no high note. I'm just imagining <laughs> in the mastering session, this bit is going to be like a fucking massive sausage waveform. It's going to be unreal. Duplicate that section. Build. And let's poach the build elements from this other part. <laughs> We're literally just stealing this bit from the drop. Well, from, not the drop, the track. I love it. I'm just gonna overdrive the balls off this. Cause I can. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. It might sound shit. Hybrid trap drop, bang bang bang. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, because this bit's a little bit empty. I'm thinking maybe like a vocal one shot. No, a phrase. God, trap like a boss. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta stop clipping. Just stop shouting or turn it down, Sam. I'll go with option B. I love to shout, you know? It's the fucking dinosaur, mate! Let's remove that bass, because, like, we need all the bass for this part. Like, all the bass. An extra 50 dB of bass. Oh, maybe fade that in so it's not something. <laughs> okay, we need a ping pong delay on them drums to kind of like carry us into the next section and then... Uh... Then do bits, essentially. Yeah. That's the EQ of the ping pongs. Or the filter. So I think it is time to end the episode there. Don't worry, I'm still going to play it before we completely wrap up this uh, episode. Start to finish, still going to play it. So today's episode, I guess we'll call it a success. Um, actually, we'll soon see when we play the track start to finish if it all ties and flows and blends in properly. But then again, if it doesn't and it needs a little bit of tweaking, that's what later episodes are for. The tweaks episode, uh, one right before the mastering and completion of the track. So next episode, of course, is going to be the hybrid trap 
drop which is going to be intense and then maybe the outro or i might say the outro for another episode and then the episode after that will be the tweaks episode which would be like final mix down um get all the volumes right make sure it's not redline headlining for the whole video like it was um in this instance yeah obviously prepare it for mastering all that other good stuff and then the episode after that finally will be mastering in um ozone 7 maybe maybe ozone 8 yeah should we try ozone 8 it's mastering ozone 8 that mastering episode is gonna be a mission oh my goodness the dynamics in this track Super quiet, super quiet, loud, super quiet, super quiet, loud. That's gonna be a fun episode, guys. I can tell you that right now. 89 tracks. We'll definitely hit 100 next time. I can guarantee you that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and let's listen to it start to finish. <laughs> this is gonna be a roller coaster of a ride. Actually, let's check on Ozone, just for bands. All right, that's loud enough. Let's get it. It's so quiet. Oh no. That definitely needs something. Maybe for the tweaks episode, vocal job or something. I don't know. Need something. Might need some compression on that uh, chord. Damn. Fingers crossed everything works, come on! Not bad, not bad. See, it's so quiet now! My goodness. Was that right? You were getting some reverb right. My goodness. <laughs> what is life? 